Welcome to number 14 in this series of lectures on statistical quality assurance and statistical process improvement. This module is a very short one. It presents some calculations based on gauge R&R &R data. Uh, it range-based calculations, not because range-based calculations are the best possible. They are not. Uh, but mostly for motivation's sake and because they are uh, somewhat connected to uh, standard formulas that are, that are well used, uh, if not particularly well advised. Uh, these calculations are for uh, estimating repeatability, standard deviation, and estimating a reproducibility standard deviation. The estimate based on ranges for repeatability that we're going to suggest is to find the within cell ranges and average them to get an R bar and then to take that average within cell range and uh, convert it appropriately so that it, it's, it, it directly estimates a standard deviation. Uh, ranges uh, are not directly comparable to standard deviations, uh, but if one uh, divides by appropriate constants, uh, they become comparable. And the constants that we're going to use are so-called control chart constants, little d2. Control chart constants, little d2, depend upon the number of values that are used to make the range. And since we're making ranges within a cell, the number of measurements within a part operator combination we've declared to be little m. And so we're going to use little d2 based on a quote unquote sample size of little n, little m, because um, that's what every individual range is, and we're averaging those. So uh, we're going to use r bar over little d2 based on the within cell sample size. To make a reproducibility standard deviation, essentially we're going to take these average, we're going to take the average range of Y bars for a particular part. So we're going to, for every part, we'll get a get a get a range of Y bars as we go across operators. We're going to average those and again make a conversion to a standard deviation scale by doing division by uh, a control chart con control chart constant little d2. Uh, now, since we have cap J operators in our study, it's not going to be a control chart con control chart constant for little d2, but a control chart constant for big J. Uh, that ratio, as it's written, uh, will tend to be a little bit larger than the reproducibility standard deviation. And so what we're going to do is correct that by uh, essentially subtracting off an appropriate multiple of the estimated repeatability standard deviation. We have to do that on a variance scale, not on a standard deviation scale. So we're going to square, and then we're going to subtract 1 over m times the estimate of the uh, repeatability standard deviation, and then take the square root. On the possibility that that difference turns out to be negative, it typically will not be negative, but on the in those times in which it is negative, uh, that difference, what we'll do is instead we'll replace that difference with zero. And so that's what this max of zero in this quantity says. It says don't try to take a, 
a square root of a, ne of a negative number, just use, just use zero. Now, this calculation is not the standard one. It's not the one that is uh, recommended in the uh, Automotive Industry Action Group manual, uh, but it's this one that makes sense and not the one in that, in that book, actually. Uh, here are some example calculations. We have ranges within these nine cells. If we total and average those, we get this number. We get point zero 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 seven eight. And if we divide that by a control chart constant, little d two for a within cell sample size of two, then this number is an estimate of the within cell or the repeatability standard deviation. As we look across row one, here's a Y bar, there's another Y bar, there's another Y bar. Those three Y bars have this range. Across the second row, these three Y bars have that range. And across the third row, these three Y bars have delta 3 for a range. If one averages those, one gets a delta bar that is 0 0.00067. That 0 0.0067 gets turned into an estimate of a standard deviation by division by the control chart constant little d2 <clears throat> based on j, and j is 3, because, because there are three operators involved here. Uh, and so that number is 1.693. Uh, that gets made into a variance, or an estimate of a variance, by squaring. And then what's subtracted off is 1 half of the square of the estimated repeatability standard deviation. Uh, that difference is is positive, so we don't have to worry about this uh, negative value underneath the square root, and so we simply take the standard deviation, sorry, we take the square root, and we get 0 0.000391. That is a reproducibility standard deviation. Now, a natural way to put those two values together, the repeatability standard deviation and the reproducibility standard deviation, uh, is to take their squares, add them together, and one gets an estimated sigma for R and R that is uh, this number uh, 0 0.000396. The thing to notice here is that most of that figure is here. Uh, the repeatability variation seems to be very much smaller than the reproducibility standard deviation, re reproducibility variation. This is a context in which uh, it appears that improving operator training or providing some kind of standard operating procedures might improve measurement consistency by reducing differences uh, between operators.